Hi there, welcome to Susan Newell, the platform where we speak truth to power. This evening, I wanted to just touch on a, a little known story of a great, great Yoruba man. His name is Ezekiah Andrew Shanu. He um, was a photographer um, in the 1800s and he actually was fighting for the rights of um, Africans. He was posted to the the public, the Democratic Republic of Congo, um, as a photographer. But then he became a businessman over there. His photography business took off. He was doing really well. But still, despite that, he noticed that um, a lot of the African um, staff um, were being treated badly. So he made several trips to Europe, to Belgium, and complained about their, their ill treatment. Um, what subsequently happened was that um, he, when he made this complaints it was uncovered that um he was the one who was making the complaints to uh, about the ill treatment of um, africans by the belgian um, officers and um, in fact the, the government so what they did was to withdraw any the use of his services um rendering him you, you know um, um he's bankrupt now, there could be, there may well be more to the story, but from what we gathered, they said that he committed suicide. We are trying to do some digging to find out the facts of the matter. Um, a man who is so concerned about the welfare of his fellow Africans is a clear sign that Africans, even in the 1800s, even at the time of, from, from day one, we've been fighting this injustice of colonization, the twin injustice of colonization and slavery. We've been fighting it and we continue to fight it. So this is a story that many may not know. So look at him again. There he is. He is Hezekiah Andrew Shanu, um, a Yoruba man, uh, well-traveled, good photographer um the photography services um made him invaluable um and then he was he he, he was um he requested for a move to the Repo democratic republic of congo probably he's probably had the stories of wars.